tell you water signs. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted when new downloads upload. Which is channel messages that can help you out along your path. Your life path. Your journey, you know. We're going to pray. We're going to spray. We pray. We say pray up around here. But we're going to spray some face spray to clear these decks. We're going to try out this Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to pop an Oracle cards at the beginning of readings. We want to see what is going on with uh, Pluto's transit into Capricorn and how is it affecting us thus far. It's like my liquid sage. It's the bomb, y'all. It smells so good. I conjured the hell out of this. If you want to purchase, you can go online. I'll leave the um, information in the description box on my website. Great for tarot readers, too. If you just want to do a quick mist of your decks so you can get a smoke out your house. Your eyes burning from all of the negative vibes coming through your portal. Call a cell phone. <laughs> ain't got no sense, y'all. Y'all know me. We're going to pull from the Moonology deck and see how it coincides with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I have Angel, um, the Angel deck in here. I have romance angels in here and I have more allergy in here. Okay. These are so I'm gonna be shuffle. I'm really not bendable. signs going through turbulent waters feels like it a little bit you're welcome to watch this if you have water anywhere in your chart and important placement all the placements all the place look all of the placements are important a new romantic cycle begins new moon the libra hmm. It's safe to love, can a very verse. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of y'all are not feeling safe to love. Even though it's time for a new romantic cycle, you're just not feeling safe. Oh, that's understandable. Let's go. Oh, it came out again. A new romantic cycle begins in Libra. to it. The next moon in Libra. So my connection. It is safe for you to love. It came up again while it's nice. <laughs> Open your heart to give and receive. Okay, so this person is not, <laughs> is not taking no for an answer, okay? It could be that uh, transit Pluto transit in Capricorn. And Pluto rules Scorpio. And Scorpio rules Pluto. So, definitely some hidden passion. Definitely. The eighth house is ruled by a code and sex alchemy and metaphysics and all of the stuff that comes along with esoteric knowledge. So, this person... That's the same. Yes, this is your soulmate. I mean, what can you do? I mean, and it came out straight like that again after a shuffle. So, clearly, love is on the forefront, of course, for water signs. And 
it's going down. So you better feel safe to love because the person that's coming in is your soulmate and you're starting a new romantic cycle. Just trying to tell y'all I get y'all heads up. No. It's a past life relationship. You have known each other before. You may feel safe to love. Work through your fears. Yeah. Some of y'all are scared to love. Mm-hmm. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. I feel like Capricorn ruled by the devil and tarot. That's all fear. It's a lot of fear-based. Restrictive energy. So this transit may be forcing some of you to work through your fears, especially if you're a Scorpio. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So Pisces, you want to balance a sense of spirituality and practicality, which means what? Ground your energy, yes. <clears throat> Cancer, y'all know where y'all stand in this. It's a past life, it's a soulmate, and it's safe to love. Work through your fears. A new romantic cycle begins. Work through your fears. Open up your heart and take your mind with you. That's the advice that I would give. Because clearly this person wants you or you won't do. Because y'all called me in and something, something going on. You ain't no innocent in this Aries. I mean, not Aries. Oh, some of y'all make it sound like Aries. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Y'all just some romance novel, ain't you? Self-reflection, moving through those fears. Good job. Oh my god, this is great. It may coming up, it may be coming up in a way the waning. Ugh, I can't talk. The waning gibbous moon. You may be in a mode of self-reflection during the next waning gibbous moon. Look into it. Super moon, next super moon. Might be a minute before we have another super moon. Attraction will be running hot. Clearly, I mean, y'all, attraction is not a problem for you guys. Now that flipped on up out of that deck twice. Growth, waxing crescent. You're going to have a growth spurt during the next waxing crescent moon. I usually would have a list around here to tell you exactly when the next waxing crescent moon is, but I don't know where it's at. This was so impromptu, this whole series, Pluto, Transit, and Capricorn. Gratitude, last quarter moon. So you want to show some form of gratitude towards an elder energy, whether it's your parent, your grandparent, but show gratitude. I don't know if they're sick, if they're a little up in age, where death is being realized, but whatever the case may be, this came up on a 55, a 5-5, five five, so it's definitely radical change. So show some form of gratitude, and you're going to show some form of growth because radical change is going to happen. And clearly, you're about to get flung into... A love situation that's challenging your fears, making you come face to face with your fears. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So a new romantic cycle is going to cause growth. It is safe for you to love. That's a part of your growth. Calling in your soulmate. And then working through your fears. And then you're going to show some form of gratitude towards someone in your life that's a little older than you are. 
It could help in other areas of romance and growth. You know? Everything is everything. I tell you that much. We're going to pull from this deck. I got... I liked it. I don't know. I be liking weird decks. I'm not in the Roman numerals because they trip me up. I don't know. It got to be something. Y'all know I think everything got something to do with past life. When it's trippy, you know, or familiar. When it never happened to you before and it's familiar. Or if it happens to you and it either confuses you all the time. You feel a way about it. You don't want to be bothered with it. It makes me think what was going on. Or who was I during times of the Roman Empire. Because Roman numerals, when I say they trigger me, I do not know why. I do not know why. Maybe I was like, maybe I had to keep up with numbers a lot, you know, or got in trouble for not keeping up with numbers or something. But I say I go into a whole meltdown when I see new, uh, Roman numerals, even when I was younger. Not like I'm crying or nothing like that. It's just to see them, my brain instantly shuts down. I can't figure it out. I just can't. I could look at a clock all day, tell the time, everything. But if somebody was to say, what numbers are those? And they was in a different sequence. Oh, I, I don't know. That's why I have to write on some of my cards that are in Roman numerals. So I'll know, like my guy is at Ace of Goblets. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentagrams. Damn. Now we got no do. This person looks a little crazy. No wonder y'all scared of love again. Lord have mercy. But y'all got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. That's what this transit gonna bring in for y'all. And prayerfully, I don't bring in no damn Three of Swords because the show came up upright. Y'all probably just leaving some shit like that. And y'all about to find another romance coming to a new romantic cycle with somebody totally new. That's why y'all scared. But the spirit said it's safe to love, but I see why y'all would be scared. You be some crazy shit like this. Look at her. Lord have mercy. You know I got time for this. Y'all have a new beginning all over the board, though. So Pluto. Is doing y'all right in the love department. Pluto placement in, in Capricorn. It's working out real good for y'all. It's in Capricorn until 2024. So that to me, that says that because y'all are water signs and you're based in emotions, that would say to me that people aren't going to play with your emotions as easily. It's not going to be no games played. Because people seeing the toy with y'all emotions. The hermit in reverse. Strength in reverse. Really? To me, y'all, maybe they're even a Virgo or got out of something with a Virgo that broke your heart. Strength heart or a Leo. Y'all lost some strength from this shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Where y'all finally about to come out of the house after losing strength from this shit again. <laughs> Would you go somewhere? Girl, that's what I'm saying. Somebody broke your heart up. Let's say broke it up. Broke it in half. In three. It seemed like to me. Yeah, y'all about to put one foot in front of the other. She's want to come up. Mm -hmm. As far as love, it's a sign. Tread light, so I like to say. But it's definitely going to show you who real and who ain't. Y'all not falling for that bullshit. Cancers especially. Why ain't nothing with the pop for us? 
What's going on? Why is someone's hiding your heart? <laughs> oh, goodness. What is this? <laughs> Look at her holding that knife like that. I'm doing it. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Put the knife down. Put the damn knife down. And brought out to our damn. Oh, yes, honey. Ace of God. But y'all ready for love, though? I hear any Ivory song. I'm ready for love. Y'all ready? Y'all is. Mm hmm. Two of Cups. All reciprocal. Yeah, if it ain't reciprocal, what not say? All right, the six of Pentacles. But if it ain't reciprocal, they is in a world of trouble. And like I said, everybody's embodying the sign of Capricorn was ruled by the devil. Okay, based off of this planetary placement, you don't have no choice but to become whatever sign is in whatever planet that's affecting everybody a certain kind of way, especially those on the northern hemisphere. Yeah, y'all are some strength. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Y'all ready to come out of hermit mode, though. Yeah. And plant some new seeds. Just old shit. Just old. Just move it on here. I don't even know. Six of Pentacles. Santa Mirte. Some of y'all may be getting pregnant. Some of y'all may be pregnant now. I mean, if you get to the point where you feel safe to love, then yeah, Ace of Goblets is definitely there. And you got the Queen of Cups. Y'all energy come right on up. Got Frida in the building. She's a Cancer. Coming out the house, Cancer. Did we have this conversation before? <laughs> oh God! Yeah, y'all making a funny judgment call. Y'all might even allow somebody to come over. The job is really kind of funny about people coming over. See, y'all like, uh, no, I'm cool. No coming over. Six of Wands. Are the hermit card? Hmm. Some of the um, high priestess, yeah. Some of y'all may be high priestess energy. You're sensitive, you're an empath, which makes you real guarded if you get hurt. Some of y'all ready to celebrate, turn over a new leaf. Some of y'all practice candle magic. Some of y'all are studying candle magic. Y'all are definitely sick of people. But y'all may be allowing people to come over again after saying no. They gonna feel like they won a victory. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's gonna be whole ass celebration. Because y'all been in a hideout. Some of y'all. That's clearly what Pluto and Capricorn is doing for water signs. Making y'all go into hermit mode. But y'all ready to come out now. Face your fears and face. Yeah, y'all been chilling. Oh, y'all been chilling. Yeah, six of swords. You ready to move in towards love or somebody? You ready to let somebody move in or you're ready to move in with them? But it's definitely a victory situation where your house is concerned. Yeah, y'all might be signing a lease with somebody. A king of swords or a king of pentacles energy. <sighs> Got backstabbed real bad about money. Yeah, y'all just want reciprocal love. Yeah, y'all want um they come up in all y'all readings that y'all want um emotional fulfillment. Not so much money, but emotional fulfillment. Money is like okay, but emotional fulfillment is really what y'all are looking for for real. 
We're gonna do one more row. This will be our energy checkup. Like I said, Pluto was in Capricorn until 2024. So I'll be doing random energy checkups to see how y'all handle in Pluto's placement. It's such a restrictive, rigid, um, organized, no nonsense kind of zodiac sign. And y'all gonna reflect that too. So we got an alchemist, page of pentacles. Yeah, like I said, yeah, page of cups. Yeah, y'all moving away from petty people and petty money, okay? And money ain't really y'all concerned because y'all know y'all can get that. But y'all definitely moving away from petty love. People who love can't endure. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Cups with somebody. Mm-hmm, y'all getting a victory with somebody. This is a total love reading. So Pluto, transit, and Capricorn. Bring y'all love life. Oh, honey, boy. Now you got strength upright. You hear me? I was in reverse, now it's upright. Tell me this ain't Mr. Do-Right and Mr. Do-Right you're about to be with. Ooh, they come to make an offer, too. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it may look like a page of cups, but it's going to turn into a ten of cups. That's why you got to know it's safe for you to love this energy. Because they might trigger something from another energy that was using you for some money, for real. For some of y'all. Yeah. For witchcraft. Yeah. Did some slick shit. T taking y'all energy. Y'all was offering y'all love, and they sure was taking it. The devil. Mm-mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all moving away from that confusion and illusion, saying anybody got time for that shit, especially not being a water sign. But somebody can turn y'all into a hair sign. <laughs> Be up worrying half the damn night. Somebody working some magic on y'all and y'all a water element, taking that shit in and shaping, sh shaping you into whatever it is they want you to be, really. It's not easy being certain signs. When you really understand, water is definitely not easy. But you take on the shape and form of a lot of shit if you're not careful. Some of y'all need to invest in um, some clear quartz. Some clear quartz crystals. If you need them, order them online. I'll put my um, information in the description box below. But this being y'all, Pluto Transit and Capricorn reading. Clearly, this was a lot about love, little about money. Y'all learning how to love yourself. Y'all learning how to become more self-reflective. Y'all learning how to open up your heart. Y'all learning that it is safe for y'all to love. Some of y'all are starting a new romantic cycle. And this person is your soulmate. You're calling them in. And don't forget to practice gratitude towards someone that's older than you. It's an elderly energy. Just show them some form of gratitude. If they prayed for you or if they helped you out in any type of way. Send them a card in the mail. Something to show some form of gratitude and they bring in some form of luck for you. Or it could unlock the keys to this new romance entering into y'all life. Because y'all definitely moving in with them or they're moving in with you. After a long, no, I don't want to, or no, you can't come over here type of situation. I'm just telling y'all. Y'all moving away from illusions and mass confusion, which is excellent. And y'all regaining y'all strength. After being in hermit mode, being in y'all honeycomb high down for a minute. That's funny. Some crabs in their shells, you know, some Pisces lost in the sea, and some Scorpios lost on a desert island. All right, y'all. This has been your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.